If you really want to keep the weight off, you need to change your attitude around food. Let's get into it. Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Walk With Me. This is Josh here and today we're talking about mental shifts that need to happen during your weight loss for long-term success in your weight maintenance. I know that might sound like a little bit of a mouthful and I'm not even sure if I have a definite tip or any good piece of advice to share with you, but it's something I've been thinking about and something I've noticed about myself for a shift in how I think about food and how I act around food. Back when I was heavier, every meal was entertainment. It was for fun, it was for indulgence, it was over the top pretty much every single meal I had. Whether it was which types of foods I was eating or how much of them I was eating, it was never something I was consciously deciding for sustenance or because my body needed energy. This mentality of food as a source of entertainment is something that really needs to shift in our brains if we want to keep the weight off long term and if we want to follow through with our weight loss if you have a lot of weight to lose and it's going to take a lot of time. At some point we all need to realize that food is fuel and that should be your priority number one and number one focus when you're eating. And don't get me wrong, I still love food and it's still a big part of my life even from an entertainment standpoint. I think there are a lot of benefits to food as entertainment from a community and family perspective. I think it's a good way to bring people together. But it shouldn't be the main focus every meal that you're eating. And maybe I'm getting this wrong and maybe I'm the only one that thought of it this way, but food was always just such a big part of my day. It was how I relaxed and I always ate as much as I could fill my stomach with, pretty much, on, on an average meal. And I don't know what happened or when it happened, but some shift happened in my brain during my weight loss where that isn't the focus anymore. There just needs to be a point where you try and break yourself of that habit. You can still have food and you can still enjoy it and you can still use it as entertainment from time to time, but that should not be the focus on an average day. And like I said, I don't want this to come across as food should only be for fuel. I honestly feel like these shifts in my mentality have almost made me appreciate food more. Just being more mindful and conscious and really appreciating what I'm eating and making sure if I am going to go over on calories or eat something a little more indulgent, you know, I'm eating something better quality that I really know I'm going to enjoy and appreciate and uh, you know, my boring meals that I'm not really thinking about are healthier and lower calorie, and it gets me through my day from a fuel standpoint. And that balance is something we all have to find and strike for ourselves. But I just wanted to put this out there so you can be a little more aware and a little more conscious, because I wasn't always. And now looking back at some of the ways I used to act around food, it's just a little gross and embarrassing almost. And I feel bad for not really having any solid steps or advice to share with all of you, but I just wanted to put the thought in your brain. The key for me is never to restrict, but just to continue to be in control and aware and mindful of my own decisions around food. So I do think food can be entertainment and it can also be fuel. I don't think you need to pick a side on this debate, but just be conscious of what you're deciding to do. That's all I ask and uh, hopefully this makes some sense and helps. For me, it's just looking back at how I used to act is so startlingly different from my thought process now. I really feel like I have such a better grasp on everything. And I do feel like my brain has been somewhat rewired around those decisions and it's awesome. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this though. Where do you fall in that spectrum of food for fuel versus food for entertainment? Let's get a good discussion going as always. And be sure to like the video if you enjoyed this. It helps me out a ton and subscribe if you're not already. I put these out every Monday. I've got all sorts of other videos that come out on Fridays. But until next time, I'll talk to you all later. Have a good one.